information gathering within disciple making movements. Module 7. Reporting Lines. Principle 7. Ministries report on their progress to their international sponsors, who evaluate their participation, and give account to donors. They sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work that they had fulfilled. And when they arrived, and gathered the church together, they declared all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Most disciple-making ministries that multiply churches, work within networks of gifted insiders, and of generous outsiders. We shall examine a typical church multiplication process that consists of ten parts. 1. The will of God. 2. Sponsors. 3. Ministry leaders. 4. Consultants. 5. Mentors. 6. Church planters. 7. The five gifted workers. 8. Church development. 9. Church reproduction. And 10. Continual expansion. These ten parts can happen in order or at the same time. Let us take a brief look at each of these parts. Part 1. The Will of God. The Father's love for the world, the Son's death in behalf of the lost and gifts from the Holy Spirits, these convince believers that it is God's will, that their churches should reproduce and multiply in every ethnic community, everywhere. Part 2. Sponsors. These are visionary folk who understand strategic planning. They form relationships with honest ministerial leaders and spend time with them. They advocate for reaching neglected communities, and they help procure means by which to do so. Most sponsors quietly work with leaders, and they avoid doing public ministry. Part 3. Ministry Leaders. These honest folk have earned the trust of those who follow them, having led many of them to faith in Jesus. They show wisdom and tact in encouraging others, in empowering workers, and in convincing believers to serve the Lord. These leaders make the decisions that can start and can stop church multiplication. Part 4. Consultants. Sponsors recommend consultants and ministry leaders invite consultants to come train workers, to provide sound advice, to recommend research, and to solve problems. Consultants show unusual insight in reproducing believers, disciples, churches, leaders and trainers. Most consultants make occasional visits to church planting ministries. Part 5. Mentors. Mentors do as the Apostle Paul did with Timothy and others. Mentors invest time and skill in training trainers, in coaching church planters and in helping church leaders plan their ministry. Mentors listen before they teach. They help others plan their work. Mentors lead others to scripture and to useful materials. They develop skills in others and they seek to make them successful. Mentors empower their apprentices to mentor others, in turn. Part 6. Church Planters Most church planters are volunteers who support themselves. They may lead a few others to faith in Jesus, teach them to obey Jesus' commandments, bring these together for worship, and mentor new shepherds to lead new flocks. Meanwhile, Church planters help others to plant more churches in the same way. Part 7. The Five Gifted Workers God supplies to every church five kinds of gifted volunteers who help the church to grow and to reproduce. Apostles are those who want to start new churches. 
Prophets are those who love to encourage others. Evangelists keep telling the good news to unbelievers. Shepherds lead others by their example. Teachers are those who help others obey Jesus' commandments. Part 8. Church Development Churches quickly develop when new believers become obedient disciples, and gifted leaders strengthen their faith by the Word of God. Church planters appoint trust with the elders in new churches, pray for them, entrust them to the Lord, and leave to go start more new churches. Part 9. Church Reproduction Churches reproduce, when their leaders coach their members to start new little churches with their family and friends. Also when they send church planting teams to nearby communities, or to distant lands. Leaders empower their church members to obey all of Jesus' commandments, and to help others to do likewise. Part 10. Continual Expansion. Sponsors, ministry leaders, and consultants, work together to send church planting teams to neglected regions and ethnic groups. There, these teams agree together, pray together, and work together, until a church planting movement is underway. This process must continue until Jesus returns. Activity 7. Hold workshops with various levels of your partnerships. Have small groups analyze their working relations, identifying all interested parties. Let them draw diagrams of their various partners and their donors. Training 7 Have workshop participants identify the kinds, amounts and forms of information that they will share with each of their partnering organizations. A typical flow of information within disciple-making ministries may work something like the following. 1. Local leaders keep a memory, diary, record or log of places and numbers of folk who come together, new baptisms, discipleship activities, trainings, daughter churches and cell groups, and new generations of leaders. They report these to their coach. 2. Evangelists, church planters and shepherds keep a memory, diary, record or log of the places they visit, homes that they evangelize, kinds of persons whom they baptize, and leaders whom they appoint. They report these to their coach. 3. Anyone who coaches others, listens to workers report on all that God has been doing through them. Coaches help each worker expand a map of each one's ministry outcomes, noting the kinds of information that are needed. 4. Ministry leaders read and review outcome reports, summaries and charts, then lay fresh ministry plans. When, where and for whom to hold training seminars. To inform churches that focus prayer on needy groups and places. To assign personnel, and to inform coaches on ministry progress. 5. Ministry leaders prepare reports from the same information, which they share with cooperating ministries and financial sponsors at agreed time intervals. However, these reports contain no details about persons or places that might prove politically sensitive, or that pose a danger to communities. 6. Partner ministries and financial sponsors provide some summary information to donors, prayer partners, mission agency chiefs and missiologists. This assures others of effectiveness fruitfulness, and honest accountability in every facet of the ministry. Conclusion 7 So that you also may know how I am and what I am doing, Tychicus the beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord will tell you everything.
I have sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are, and that he may encourage your heart.